Hi, my name is Mike, and I have a disease called Huntington's disease. <clears throat> and a lot of people ask, what are the symptoms? And probably the most prominent symptom of Huntington's disease is called chorea. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit about what that's like. Chorea is a very uh, obvious, involuntary type of movement that's kind of random and twitchy, and that's what people with Huntington's disease have. Now, one of the things that I get asked a lot is, first of all, does it hurt? And the answer is no. Sometimes I grimace and things, but that's all just happening without me. It's completely painless. And in fact, most of the time, I don't even know I'm doing it. I just kind of, you know, so yes. So like I said, completely painless, mostly don't know I'm doing it. And so, uh, and there is actually a medication uh, that can treat the chorea uh, but it has lots of serious side effects. So I'm waiting, you know, because one of them is it could make me suicidal, and, you know, it's not worth it to me to, you know, have all these serious side effects just for something that bothers other people. So anyway, so this is Korea, and da-da-da. What, what causes Korea? Well, Technically, it's caused by the cells in your basal ganglia region of your brain dying. And I guess it's kind of like their little, you know, send-off. They're like, poof, we're gone. And here I am, with my Korea. Yeah. And another one of my symptoms is I have trouble with balance. And so I try to, actually, every morning when I first get up, I practice, I basically give myself like a little mini field sobriety test. And, but here, I'll show you, like, you know, if I try to stand like this, watch. Stone sober here. But because of the changes in my brain, and I also sometimes fall, not as often, you know, more often than probably you do, but not that much yet. And so now when I walk, I just try to walk with a wider stance and that kind of thing. What about the benefit you were talking about earlier? Oh, to, um, sorry, I completely forgot. The dancing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it makes me a much better dancer than I was. <laughs> now, my new theme song is the wobble dance. We'll do another video conquering that one. <laughs>
if you remember, I mentioned earlier that the, the disease is caused by a mutation. In, I think it's on chromosome three, either chromosome three or four. But what happens is there's a section. If you go back to your old high school biology, with the base pairs, you know, A C D C and G C in the DNA. So there's a section where the letters C A G repeat a bunch of times, and <clears throat> people who have uh, more than like 35 repeats are going to get Huntington's if they live long enough. And I have 47 repeats. <clears throat> and so, um, and it's actually kind of interesting. There's a, there's a sort of loose correlation between how many, you know, repeats you have and how early the disease starts. And there's actually an even, even worse form of the disease called juvenile Huntington's disease which hits people when they're like teenagers, it's much, much faster and much more aggressive and horrible. <clears throat> um, and the people who get juvenile HD tend to have like, you know, 50 or 60 repeats. That, you know, it's much, much higher. And they, 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 they seem, it looks like the higher the number of repeats you have, the earlier the onset probably is. But again, that's very sort of loose. And uh, but like, I pictured myself like basically like rocketing into people, knocking everybody over. I'm like that drunk guy at every party, who's like you know, knocking everybody over. Some people spill their set, spill their tequila. What does head the corn be about? Two a.m. at or one thirty, hit the boom boom room. That's right. That's right. Hey, if you liked what you saw. Like me, subscribe to my page, leave me comments.